Desmond Chu will fight in an election for the second time in his 15-month-long political career. The deputy director of the Youth Development Unit of NTC garnered 35.2 percent of the votes during the general election last year, losing to former Workers' Party member Yao Shenliang. Mr. Chu said his campaign strategy has not changed and that he will keep working hard for Aogang residents. I think the strategy of working hard for residents will never change, and that really means that you're going to go out and serve them. So during this campaign. Any residents who need help continue to be able to receive assistance from me. I'm not going to stop my assistance just because we're on a campaign trail, and it's about making a difference, touching a heart once at a time, one at a time. But I need the mandate, and I need residents to know that if you want me to do more beyond just what I can do now on the ground and represent you in Parliament, then I will need that support. I will need the mandate. Mr. Chu arrived at the nomination centre at 10:30 a.m. on Wednesday, together with National Development Minister Kor Bun Wan, Education Minister Hing Sui Kiet, and some PAP supporters. I'm excited, of course. I am very thankful, of course, that、uh, I didn't expect that many supporters to be here today. So just just seeing the sea of white and uh, seeing uh, all my residents coming down to、uh, to send their best wishes,、um, I, I think that gives us a real lift in spirits. So、um, I'm really looking forward、uh, to the campaign.、Um, I think this is a really wonderful start that we have. Mr. Chu thanked his supporters during his nomination speech in Mandarin. The English portion of his speech was cut off due to time constraints, and he finished what he wanted to say in an interview with the media afterwards. I know we were cut off、uh, earlier. It's unfortunate. I think there's some timing issue.、Uh, for me, the message has always been very simple: that we have served the residents very hard.、Uh, residents know that we are sincere, and they know that we are always here for them. And Hong Kong has become my home. So, what I want to let the residents know is that today. Actually, represents the opportunity to make the difference. That we can together create a vibrant and brighter future for Hong Kong. And but for that to happen, I will need their mandate. I have done quite a lot, but there's more that I can do, and I will need their mandate to do so. And with a nine-day campaign ahead of him, Mr. Chu said it's his wife who gets him going every morning. The couple got married last July, two months after the general election. Oh, my my wife, my wife has been amazing,、uh, amazing person.、Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, you know what? What gets you going in the morning?、Um, to me, it was it's not food, it's not breakfast. But the moment that I wake up in the morning, I see my wife beside me.、Um, I, I think that that kiss in the morning. Uh, before before I leave my work, I think that's amazing. That keeps me going any single day, with or without food.、Um, so、uh, she has been the pillar of support,、uh, always be with me, and she was here today. Um, yeah, um, whether she be on a campaign trip, we do not know. I mean, she has work to do, but I know that she's she's going to be always with me, with the radio, with the WhatsApp, or the SMS thing that comes into me,、um, and, and that and that matters a lot to me. Mr. Desmond Chu kicked off his campaign trail with a house-to-house -house visit at Aogang Central. Meanwhile, dozens of PAP volunteers put up campaign posters and signs around Aogang. Keep watching Razor TV for more coverage on the Aogang by-election.